My BFI player plus choice this week is the extraordinary feature debut from writer-director Philip Ridley, a beautiful and disturbing masterpiece which first surfaced in 1990 and then disappeared from view for years before being rediscovered by a new generation of viewers, the reflecting skin. <laughs> Philip Ridley describes the reflecting skin as the story of a mythical summer in the childhood of an eight-year-old boy, Seth Dove. Crucially, this is a remembered summer, a first-person narrative seen through the eyes of a child with all that that entails. He's an unreliable narrator, Ridley explains, and what he's done is to condense all these horrific events into one six-week period. But not only is he misremembering, he's also deceiving himself and deceiving us. In effect, the film becomes a collection of iconic images created by this character to express his emotional life, making the internal external. Tales of Ridley's dedication to detail on the reflecting skin are legend, not least stories of him turning up every morning to paint wheat fields the correct shade of yellow. Some reviewers drew comparison with the work of David Lynch, but more influential were the early films of Terence Malick. Drawing visual inspiration from the photography on Days of Heaven, cinematographer Dick Pope would shoot directly into the sun at magic hour, a painstaking process which made the production both lengthy and laborious. Just look at the results. Despite a positive reaction on the festival circuit, the reflecting skin was met with bewilderment in the mainstream marketplace and failed to find a wide audience, something Ridley found demoralizing. Years later, it would resurface thanks to growing interest on the internet, where fans of the movie would sing its praises, finally prompting a long overdue Blu-ray release. In the meantime, Ridley made The Passion of Darkly Noon and Heartless, both extraordinary pieces of work which are similarly ripe for reappraisal. His films may be few and far between, but they are unique and magnificent works, filled with strange riches for those adventurous enough to find them. Mm -hmm.